y'all. Welcome back to our channel. And I know y'all been missing this guy, so I thought I'd bring him on here for this. Um, I've got the video y'all are about to see is kind of a, it's a catch-all. So I did a rocks box, my latest December rocks box. I'm, I'm actually, I've already filmed it, and so I'm wearing some of the pieces. Just a preview. Yeah, it's just a little preview <laughs> of what's in the rocks box. And then I also brought y'all what I kept for the whole month of December. Yeah, I don't need anything under uh, the tree. Yeah. Hey. I, I didn't <laughs> say I got you a stocking. He did. He got me a stocking. He got me a stocking. And I told him I said, I don't need nothing under that tree. Small. Um, <laughs> because, yeah, my December boxes were really good. <laughs> really, really good. So, anyway, so I'm going to show y'all what I kept for the month of December. And then also, I'm gonna bring you my latest rocks box. And then we're gonna wrap up with a little message for y'all. All right. This is a little different. I normally, on Mondays, I tell you what I wore last week and what I kept. I haven't been able to do what I wear. You know, the outfit of the day things. I, I told y'all at the beginning of the month, I probably wasn't gonna do that for the month of December. And I'm glad I made that decision because it would have been really hard to do. Um, but I do want to show you what I kept. So I finally wrapped it up yesterday um, with really all my boxes for December. Uh, my Trunk Club came, uh, JB Style came, y'all seen all of them. So now I'm going to show you what I kept for the month of December. I'm going to do that first and then I'll show you my rocks box. Y'all, it was a lot and <clears throat> I'll be honest. I kept way more than I probably should have, and I could have kept a lot more based on what I loved, but you know, I had to draw a limit. And so I, I, I tried to keep no more than one, two things at the most in each box, but tried to stick to one as best I could. Let's start with Fashion. All right, Fashion, if y'all remember, Fashion, I loved four out of the five pieces. Four out of the five pieces, loved it. I really liked all five, but this one sweater, uh, that animal print sweater, it was acrylic and I, I just can't wear acrylic. So I tossed and turned with that one. I really did, especially over that jacket because it was so stinking cute. But y'all, I ended up just keeping the blue sweater. This is what I loved the most out of the box. It is so soft. It is, it's by Dreamers. And that's the perfect brand because this sweater is dreamy. I mean, it feels like cashmere. It is, I mean, even to me, softer than cashmere. It is so soft. And I loved, if you remember, I loved the way it was cut. I loved the band across the bottom and it kind of just flowed away. And of course, you know, navy blue is my very favorite color. So this was a great keep for me from fashion. My next box was Wantable Active Edit. There were three things in that box that I absolutely loved. And I almost, almost kept all three. But thank goodness, one of my faithful viewers, Patty, let me know that the um, animal print bomber jacket that I was really, really in love with was on sale on the, on the website, the Skechers website. It was a Skechers jacket and they had it marked down. So I didn't keep it. And I whispered in Santa Claus's ear that I might like to have that. So you never know, it might still turn up. We'll see. But what did I keep? I kept the green cardigan. I think y'all already knew that because I wore it in another video. But I, yeah, I kept this, love this cardigan. I've worn it a couple of times. I loved the fit of it. It was on sale, loved the color. And y'all, I also kept this little hoodie. I almost didn't because I thought, well, you know, it's just a hoodie, but y'all, it is so soft. And this is what I always say, when I'm trying to decide on what to keep, if it's a piece that I keep wanting to wear, it's like, I, I, I'm like, oh, I really want to wear that. That's when I know I should keep it. Well, that was this piece. I, I wanted to wear it the day I got it. And I'll be honest, I've already worn it. So those are the two things I kept from my Wantable Active Edit. Wantable Style Edit. I kept the jeans. I kept the Vigos Boot Cut Distressed Jeans. Love them. This was a great choice. Do not have any jeans like that. So that was a good choice. All right, that brings us to Stitch Fix. Um, oh, and just a note. 
Well, I did two Stitch Fix videos uh, this month. And um, the first one, golly, I'm trying to remember. It's been a while. I think that was the very first video I did. I don't think I kept anything. I sent it all back. Yeah, I did. I sent it all back. The second one had two things that I really, really loved. That animal print dress and the pink clover striped uh, gray and white uh, little pullover sweater. Loved both of those pieces so, so much. Um, kind of surveyed my closet, thought about it, and realized I had a few things that looked like that sweater, that striped sweater. I have two or three striped sweaters. Now, maybe not gray and white, but still very similar. And I'm, I really wanna put some new and different things in my closet this year. So, I kept the leopard print, the animal print leopard print. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'll tell you my only hesitancy with this dress, the only hesitancy is, you know, I'm suffering with some hot flashes right now. Y'all know that. And so if I have one in this dress, I could be in trouble because this isn't something I could rip off like a cardigan. You know what I mean? That's why I like cardigans versus pullover sweaters right now because if I get hot, I can take this off. But this I wouldn't be able to. So that that might be, you know, that, that might, I may, um, I may regret it the first time I wear it. Although... When I'm at church, even when I have a hot flash, it's not too bad because our church is freezing. I mean, like freezing. So I think I'll be okay in this, but I just loved it. I just thought it was so cute and, and the price was really good. It was only $48. So I kept that from Stitch Fix. And then I'll let y'all know on Scott. So I talked to Scott about, uh, you know, cause he had decided he was gonna do his every other month because he felt bad because he wasn't keeping anything. Well, here's the deal. A lot of y'all, you know, said, oh no, tell him to do it every month, we miss him. Here's the thing, we have the, um, the style pass where you pay $49 for the year and that's your styling uh, fee for the year. So it's not like he's having to pay that $20 styling fee every single month and lose it because he doesn't keep anything. Um, so we don't have that issue, but he was still kind of feeling bad, you know, because he wasn't keeping anything. And I told him, I said, that's free advertisement for Stitch Fix. You're showing a lot of people what they can get, give them ideas for husbands or whatnot, you know, whatever. And you're sheer entertainment for our channel. So I think it's okay. I think it's okay. So he agreed and we will in January have a Stitch Fix together. Uh, that's gonna be one of the limited videos we're gonna have in January. I'll talk to y'all about that in a second too. That brings us to Trunk Club. Trunk Club. There was really, Three things in that trunk that I actually liked. Uh, there was one thing in particular that was ridiculous. If you remember the pink dress, oh my gosh. But um, I did like that kind of wine colored cowl neck and I liked the black boots. I decided real quickly I didn't need the black boots. I already have black boots. In fact, I've got, I realized I have more than what I even showed y'all. I have some tall black boots and then I have, people call them, well, they're like shoes, but booties. I think they call them shooties. I got some black in, black in those too. So I, I did not need any more black boot type shoes. So it came down to the jeans and that kind of wine colored cow neck. I kept the jeans y'all. Um, the wine colored cow neck was beautiful. It was so pretty and it was so soft, but it was also a very hot, very, very hot. And I thought, mm, no, no, not good. Mm. I, that, I mean, I got hot just trying it on. I didn't even get that hot in this dress. So I thought, no, that's, mm, I don't think so. These jeans love, because I loved them. I love the wit and wisdom fit of jeans. And what I really loved about these is that they were long instead of like capri ankle length and they're straight leg instead of the skinny jeans. Cause I got a lot of skinny jeans. That brings us to JB style. Well, you know, JB Style is always like my favorite box to get. It's my funnest box. This month, I'll be honest, I wasn't like, fireworks weren't shooting off for me. But that wasn't Ryan's fault. That box was filled with things pretty much that I handpicked. So I think next month, <laughs> I think next month, I'm just gonna let her do it. Well, there may not be a next month. We'll get to that in a second. Um, Let's put it this way. Next time, I think I will let her do it. I'll just let her pick. Because, yeah, I didn't pick as well for myself. 
But the thing that I really did love was this black sweatshirt sweater. Y'all, I know it's just a black kind of sweatshirt sweater, but if y'all could feel this, and I did love the fit of it, and I love black. Black is super versatile. You can wear it with so many different things. It's, it's warm, but not overly so. You know what I mean? I could wear this and be very comfortable in it. I like the dolman fit. Um, I liked a lot of the little details on it. It's just, it was just a great top. And then the last thing I kept is probably the most impractical of things that I kept all month. Um, I will get the least use out of it, but I probably like it best over everything I kept. <laughs> and that is this cape, y'all. I, I just love it. And I know I'm not gonna get a whole lot of use out of this. This is something that I will pull out just very occasionally. But when I do, I will be so happy to wear it. So yeah, so yes, I kept it. And I thought this was an exceptional price. This was only $42, y'all. So I thought that was a really, really good price for this. That was a lot for the month of December. A whole lot. Let, let's just get to the rocks box, okay? Rocks box. Love me. Some rocks box. <laughs> Every time I do a video, it's nap time for her. That is just the cutest thing ever. I mean, she's just a staple. Okay. First thing I got is from Sophie Harper. And these are the, I mean, these earrings are so stinking cute. Y'all, it's like, it's a little honeybee, I guess. I guess that's a honeybee. And it's like this bee is like perched on a pearl. Do you see it? Now, it's, they come apart. You know what I mean? It's not attached. I, I guess you gotta try them on for y'all to see them. I, I, I can't wait to try them on because I wanna see what they look like on. I couldn't imagine them on. All right, so let me get these on. I've got the TV on and a dog barked. I have it turned way down. I hope I mean, y'all might be able to hear it. I'm watching Little Women. I love that show. I, I love that movie so much. But anyway, a little dog barked and she just went nuts. All right, y'all, can y'all see these? Hang on, let me get my. No. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Very cute. Very cute. Those are by Sophie Harper. They are called the. Dragonfly. Oh, I was thinking it was a bee. It's a dragonfly in pearl huggies for $46. They retail for $55, but with my member discount, they're $46. Okay, those are cute and very, very different. All right, this next piece is a ring. This is real pretty. This whole set kind of goes together. Oh, y'all, that. Now, do not look at my nails, y'all. You know when I cut my finger on the Ninja Foodie thing when I was making that almond butter over a month ago. Gosh, almost two months ago. Well, it cut my nail too. And I've been waiting for it to grow out and heal before I go get my nails done. And so they're in bad shape, bad shape. All right, here, this is a little big, but look, oh my gosh, isn't that adorable? I love that. It's a little loose. Um, but I think it would be too small on any of the other fingers. Yeah. Or probably get it on there, but that would be tight. But it's, it's a little loose, but not too bad. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That is by Ava Rose, and it's called the Austin Ring in Gold and Mother of Pearl. It also retails for 55, and the member price is 46. So that's a good deal, y'all. Good, good deal right there. Okay, last one is Kendra Scott, and it's a necklace. And it's also a mother of pearl. Kendra Scott Tessa Small Pendant Necklace in Gold and White. But it looks to me kind of like the same. It's very similar. That is really, really pretty. I don't have anything like that. Oh, that's pretty. Y'all, this is a great price for Kendra Scott too. It's only $48. Okay, this is a beautiful set. This is a beautiful set. Here, I'll be still so I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this. But yeah, look. All right, y'all, here's the whole set. Very cute, very, very cute. So the retail total is 140. Um, if I get all three, I take $10 off. Uh, I know I get my $21 for this because it just billed. So that'd be 31 off. And then I get a silver rewards discount of 14. 
So that would bring it down to a little less than $100 for all three pieces. I'm not gonna spend that right now, but I can keep these for a while and enjoy them over Christmas. Or what I could do, what I always tell y'all, is I could buy one piece at a time. Okay, this is Rock's Box for, um, this is I think my second or third Rock's Box for December, definitely my second. This will be my last one for December. This is my Christmas Rock's Box. All right, you guys, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful blessed day. And I'm not gonna see y'all before Christmas. This is my last video going up until um, after Christmas. So we'll probably do something together. I don't know what, just so y'all can see him because he's been pretty um, absent all month and I know y'all miss him. So I'll get him on here next week. We'll hop on and say hi. Maybe we'll do a, a Q and A or a live. That would be fun to start the new year off, like a live video chat. I don't know how to do it, but if I can figure it out, maybe we'll do that. That would be fun. It was a lot, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, and, and, and weren't, aren't these the cutest little pieces? I just, I really, adorable. they're so, they are cute. Uh, that's what I said. And I'm they're just adorable. enjoying them. I haven't decided to keep anything. I'm just enjoying them. That's what I love about Rock's Box. You can just wear them and enjoy them. You know, that's right. And then send them back. So anyway, okay. So it's Christmas Eve. Today is actually Christmas Eve when we're filming this. That's right. So we want to say a very, very Merry Christmas to you guys. And we want to thank y'all for a fantastic year. We Blessed love, year. yes, we love, love, love our YouTube family. That's right. Mm -hmm. We're really looking forward to the new year. Um, I said in the video that, um, you didn't hear this because I filmed that a couple days ago, um, that I want us sometime in the new year, maybe January, February, not sure, I want to do a live Q&A. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how to do that, but I'm going to figure it out. So anyway, we are going to take a little bit of time off. We're going to take... prepare for the live q Well, Q no. About, so. <laughs> We're taking a little time <laughs> off, honestly, just to catch our breath. This year has been... A whirlwind. Yes. And you know, I've heard a lot of people say that. I've really heard a lot of people say that, that this year flew by so yeah, it quickly. Really did. Um, but we were super busy. Um, I especially was. And um, so I'm just gonna take a minute, catch my breath. That's right. And we will be back. We but will be we back. We will be back. But we definitely wanted to get on here and just tell y'all very, very, very Merry, Merry Christmas and a very happy new year. That's right. Safe one. That's right. That's right. So until we get back together again, as always, you guys, y'all be safe, you be well, God bless you, Merry Christmas, and, and we're, we're out. out. See you next year.